Hey guys, it's Green Tech Network again, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Lapai LP2020A Plus Mini Audio Amplifier. This is the second Mini Audio Amplifier that I've reviewed. I've also reviewed the Kinter. Here's both of them. Um, as you can see, the Lapai is a little bit bigger, and it's also a little bit more nice. It has some more functionality, and it offers a lot more power. Um, they're available for $20 to $25 online. I got mine on eBay for I think like 22 bucks. It was free shipping, but that was six months ago. Um, so it offers, you know, pretty good housing. It's nice aluminum. It has, you know, two hookups on each side, so you can mount it on, um, you know, whatever you're using it for. Uh, the paint on it is pretty nice. Um, it's, there isn't any like blotches or mistakes or anything. On the front, you just have, you know, it's pretty nice. Um, there's still some power left in the capacitor, but it has a um, Pretty decent power switch. It seems like pretty nice uh, quality. It has this button here, which is new. This this wasn't available for the Kinter. This actually allows you to either pass the audio through these two bass and treble filters, or you can have it direct. So if you don't want to pass it through the bass and treble filters, um, you know, you know, treble bass filters, like I said, and then you have your volume control. Um, on the back, you have just your standard right left audio or right left. I don't know which color is which. Um, camera to focus. You also have, which is really nice for this one, which wasn't available on the Kinter, you have your headphone jack input, which is pretty cool because, you know, the right left audio cable is a little bit bigger, a little bit, you know, a little bit more to carry. Um, or if, you know, you only have one of them, which is, you know, it's pretty nice functionality. You, then you have your right left speaker hookups and your 12 volt input, which it says it takes two amps, and I have a two amp 12 volt power supply to test it with. So, you know, let me uh, hook it up and we can test it out. So, on my Kinter video, I used the small white speaker, which is right here. And the Lapai amplifier actually caused this speaker to bottom out. So, I had to get a little bit of a bigger speaker, which you see right here, which I'll be showing you in a sec. So, let me turn on this extra light and let me just connect the speaker. Uh, positive and negative. So that's black speaker right there is eight ohms. So that just you know puts it in perspective uh, depending on which ohm speaker you're using. So I have that same exact drum loop that I use for the Kinter, and I'll be playing that on the larger speaker for you. So here, let me just zoom in on the speaker itself so you can see it. Okay, that's good. So, let me turn it on and play it on my laptop. So, as you can see with um just by looking at the speaker, you can tell that it's definitely powering it pretty well. You know, it um it definitely provides enough power for this speaker. I've actually used this amp with a taller uh, tower speaker in my dorm room, uh, which I don't currently have with me here at home, so I can't uh, I can't show you. But the tower speaker has an eight-inch sub, two three-inch mid-range, and then a tweeter. So you know this thing supplies a pretty good amount of power to them. It was it was pretty loud considering the amplifier size, which I was pretty impressed with. Um. So you know it also has the oh, oh well, when I when I play the music which oh, let me play it again you can see it the speaker starts to bottom out around half volume so when I uh, when I was playing the speakers up in my dorm room which are the ones that are a little bit nicer um, the speakers themselves weren't being or weren't bottoming out the amplifier was clipping because it was reaching its limits. And I think that was right around the three quarters mark. So it was like it was right around right around there about. Um just to you know put in perspective on how loud it goes for um other speakers. So I can show you now with the that was this just direct sound. So that was like it didn't pass through the bass or treble or anything. So here's a uh we can I'll just show you real quick. Um when you when you push this in though you do hear that's 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 out and then this is in. 
I don't know if you can hear it on the um, camera, but there's actually a little bit of feedback on um, little white noise that for some reason is played through the speaker. It doesn't, it doesn't get any louder if you turn the volume up. It's just, it's just kind of always there. Um, it's not, it's, you know, it's not a huge deal because you know you can only hear it when the volume's extremely low. But you know, I guess it still could be improved. So here, I'll play it now with the tone enabled. So I'll just turn it up around there. Um, turn these both down. You can hear. So here's here's the bass knob. See the bass goes up and the treble knob. The treble goes up. So you know, pretty cool. Um, it's pretty it's pretty neat functionality. Um, so I mean, all in all. I really like this amplifier. You know, you only it's only twenty to twenty-five dollars, which you know is pretty cheap in terms of amplifiers. You know, it, it also has the uh, MP3 or audio or headphone input, which I really like also. And it's a lot more powerful, um, a lot more robust than the Kinter. Um, I don't I don't know if I did mention this, but inside it, it has the TA2020 audio chip. You know, hence the name LP2020A. Um, so you know, it is it is really giving me 20 watts per channel, which is really nice. Because you know, I looked up the uh, chip, and that's you know the manufacturer's ratings on the chip itself. So all in all, it's a pretty good amplifier. I would definitely recommend it to someone who's looking to power um, a mid-sized speaker, which you know, uh, de it definitely can power this at full volume, and it could power my tower speakers probably I'd say about half their maximum volume because I've hooked them up to a more powerful amp to you know see what they could really sound like um, so I mean if you guys have any questions about this or you want me to videotape some other functionalities or um, I can you know even take it apart I guess if you really want me to but uh, if you have any questions comments etc just leave them in the comment box or shoot me a message and I'll get back to you thanks for watching